What's good, everybody? This is your man, Jimmy Conway from Instant Classic Productions. This is going to be my first tutorial on Cubase 7.5. My audio interface is a Focusrite Scarlett 8i6. I'm using Yamaha HS8 monitors. I have an Akai MPK225 keyboard controller. I'm using Machine as my drum machine, and I have a Korg Triton LE61, which I'm not currently using. So, but this video is all about Cubase and the intro and how to set it up. Here we go. Um, so we're about to load Cubase into RAM. Uh, I, at this time, I think they're currently up to Cubase 8.5, but I didn't upgrade because then I would have to upgrade my operating system to the latest one they have, El Capitan. On the, on the Mac, and I didn't want to do that. I heard too many bad things of it slowing down your computer and uh, just a lot of bad things about making things not work. Like, my system works right now. I'm going to leave it as is until it stops working completely, and they force me to upgrade everything. So, uh, or until El Capitan gets their thing together. But right now, it's all about Cubase 7.5. Here's the intro that you get. Uh, so it says, some content could not be loaded. Either licenses are missing or trial licenses have expired. All the licenses are on a blue dongle that they give you. And you can't run Cubase without that blue dongle inside your Mac. So... But I could close out of this because I don't need that stuff. From left to right, um, they give you the news, the latest news and tips. Yeah, see the up to Cubase Pro 8.5 trial available. Okay. And you can sit here and go through the latest news. You can check out the new features. They have uh, all their features and video tutorials here. They have a quick start guide. You can check out some advanced tutorials if you're, you know, looking to learn some more advanced stuff. But if you're a beginner and you're a beat maker or, or rap artist or whatever, this might be for you because, you know, this will be a little bit more slower pace. Um, down here you have a user forum. Uh, you can sign up for the forum and get all kinds of tips and stuff from other people from around the world. They have a knowledge base over here. And from left to right, they have um, your most recent uh, your most recent songs or beats you made. These are all templates. Uh, so you have recording templates depending on your audio interface. And the amount of inputs on your sound card will determine how many inputs, you know, which ones you can use, but you could change all that up and I'll show you how to do that on later videos, how to set up your audio interface and your MIDI and all that stuff too. Um, but if you're a guitar player, let's say, they have acoustic guitar with vocals. If you click that, it'll give you a track with acoustic guitars and you know a vocal track for singing right away. Um, you have... Uh, scoring so if you're a musician and you know how to play and you're used to the traditional style of sheet music this is for you right here uh production pretty much self-explanatory if you're producing blues rock they'll give you a basic template when you open up for blues rock and you can start playing immediately um they have a mastering section uh where you can set up a mastering uh, template and these are my kind of beat making templates that I've set up and I'll click on the empty one just to show you in a minute uh, down here is your default location where you want to save all your Cubase pro uh, projects I would normally save uh, recommend that you save them to an external drive uh, not your internal, because you don't want to clog up your internal drive with all your songs, because it's going to slow down your computer. Um, so I have them on an external drive, and uh, 
That's how I get down. Uh, but let's see. Actually, let's load up a beat making template. So right now, what it's gonna do, I have a template with my machine where I have all my output separated for mixing and mastering purposes. Um, and I'll kind of show you how that works in a second. I'll do a separate video too on how to set up a template. Like it'll be a real quick video. I won't do it on this one. This one's just to kind of show you how it looks when it loads up. So right now it's loading up machine. It's a pretty big program. Right now it's telling me the stuff that I don't have for my Halion Sonic, which is Cubase's kind of um, sound module. Let this load up real quick. Okay. All right. Remind me later. That's fine. So now it loads up with the Halion Sonic SE2, which is a uh, virtual instrument by uh, Steinberg. I have my machine loaded up. Let's see if I get that. Let's see if I could just show you. Uh, let's see. I want that. Actually, no. You know what? I don't have to do all of that. There we go. Right. If I click this little button here on a MIDI track, it'll bring up machine. Oh, I did it too many times. Okay. So this is, it brings up machine. I don't know if you can hear all those drum sounds that I'm hitting. I hope it's not annoying you. Uh, but this is what it looks like. So now I can get it started immediately making beats and I don't have to you know, load up everything and take time wasting. It, the initial time wasted is when you load it up initially. But when you load it up, it loads up all your sounds. I have all my outputs separated. So this is where for mixing purposes, now I can add EQ to separate uh, my kick, my snare, hi-hats, and so forth. So this is, I hope this was just a, I hope it was an easy tutorial for you. It was supposed to be basic. I ran on a little bit too long. Uh, the next one will be a shorter video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is your man, Jimmy Conway. One love.